Y'all, I slept all day. It's Sunday, 6.48. My husband just left for work. And I have been in the bed since I got home this morning from work. I'm super tired. I don't know what my head look like. But I'm finna run to Dollar General and give me some snacks. And I'm finna come back here and figure out dinner for tomorrow. Because I ordered pizza for the day. I'm tired. So glad for three days off. Have no idea where my purse is at. I think it's in the bedroom. Still got the blackout curtains closed. Don't have keys. See if I got milk because I'm probably gonna make a cornbread. I got milk. No meal. Got eggs. No phone. Phone's about to die. Cause it's been off the charger all night. It doesn't rain tonight. I'm gonna stain, finish staining the deck. At least do the steps and start on the rails, the big rails. Anyway, I just wanted to start the vlog. Say hello. Oh, let's see what the next couple days. The lake looks so peaceful at night, you guys. I just wanted to come and show you. I don't know if you can see it just looks like little water like water is dropping on the it just I don't know what it is I don't know if it's fish I don't know if it's just how the water moves but it looks like little droplets just hitting the water and it's not raining out here but it's so peaceful so I just wanted to turn the camera on and show you what it looks like on the lake oh it's so amazing I'm gonna do a video out here pretty soon so you guys can enjoy the water with me it's so beautiful. at night cooking dinner and just thought I'd turn the camera on and talk to you because I'm home by myself and I'm a little lonely and I didn't, I'm not really cooking with you but I will tell you what I'm doing I have some free range um, drumsticks in here and I'm getting ready to season it this is bouillon if you ever use bouillon cubes there is um, by Noor the chicken bouillon powder um, versus the cubes. This is the powder. And I'm using this for seasoning because I don't have any chicken broth. So I'm going to sprinkle, sprinkle on however much you use. It's up to you. You know, I don't really mess with measurements. I just go off the feeling. This is my Creole seasoning. I get it from Walmart. Tony Couture's original Creole seasoning. 
again. <coughs> Every time I sprinkle this, I cough and I sneeze. <coughs> Onion powder. Just sprinkle it enough for your liking. Garlic powder. <coughs> And this is paprika. Well, it's a, I didn't know this had a taste. <coughs> Even when I was young, my grandmother used to always say the paprika is for color. And I've never noticed the taste from this. I, I use it for color. So I tend to be kind of heavy handed with it because I want my meat to have a dark, rich color. So that's why I use it. I know that smoky paprika has a smoky like flavor, but regular paprika, I didn't know anything about it having a flavor. So, I'm gonna get a dish. I'm using my, I got a whole set of these Sensation. The name of the brand, the name of the Dish is sensation. They have all colors. Mine is the burgundy. I'm going to mix the meat up. I um, patted the meat dry with a paper towel because I like. <laughs> Glad I cleaned off the um, island before I started cooking. I like the meat to not be so wet and have like water in the bottom of the pan because I want the seasonings to stick to it. See that? So we're gonna add the meat to the casserole dish and then I'm gonna cut up some onion and grab some bell pepper and call it bell pepper out of the freezer. Um, to add to that too. So, I cut some onion up earlier um, for the pot of beans that I got cooking. So I'm gonna cut another onion up for this. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's actually, since it's after 12, it's Monday morning. Um, I got off work early Sunday morning, like 2 o'clock in the morning. Y'all know I get off. I work Wednesday through Saturday. So when I get off, it's Sunday morning. I got home about, I don't know. I think I got off 1.45 last night. So I got home like 2.30, 2.45. I ate a bowl of chili from Wendy's. Toss and turn a little bit. I say it's about five o'clock when I fell asleep. Our spiritual meeting is Sunday mornings at 10. So I got up at nine to take a shower, get ready for that. My husband gets off at eight in the morning. He works every other weekend. So he came home and took a shower and we attended the meeting. My husband then went to sleep. I ordered a pizza toward the end of the meeting our spiritual meeting and it came right after the brother said amen which is perfect so he grabbed his pizza we always get two medium thin crust chicken pizzas same way all the time my husband can't do tomatoes they give them independence so i do what i call a chicken alfredo pizza i do a domino's we always call domino's and we do the thin crust and instead of marinara sauce we do alfredo sauce and on his I put premium chicken and bell pepper and on mine I put premium chicken and spinach it's really good you gotta try it next time I get one I'll take a picture um, but you gotta try it this is colored bell pepper and this is green bell pepper and I had a bunch of bell pepper in the house so I just cut it all up and um, put it in the freezer like I always do. I'm going to go ahead and mix this. Get all these bags out the freezer. And then I can just use it as I need it and I don't have to 
worry about it going bad. I didn't turn on the oven. <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and put the oven on 400. Normally I would've put it on, probably would've put it on between 350 and 385 and let the chicken slow cook. But I put it on um, 400 because I'm gonna make a cornbread too. Might as well put it all in the oven at the same time. So I ordered a pizza, my husband was asleep. I actually had a Bible study at one o'clock on um, video call. My girlfriend invited me to a Bible study that I, I, let me tell you guys, being one of Jehovah's Witnesses and being out in the ministry, we, our goal is to start Bible studies. I meant to spark, I meant to put some parsley flakes, just for color, on top. My girlfriend started a Bible study maybe a year ago, and I've been on the study with her when the study was fairly new. And she invited me on the study today, a year later. The progress that this older woman is making, oh, it just, I cried. And I had her crying. I ugly cried. Some of her answers were just amazing. Like she just been serving Jehovah all her life. It was awesome to see her progress and want to get baptized. And it was just an amazing day. So after that, it was at one. So it was from one to two. Our meeting, spiritual meeting is over like 11.45. So my husband was in bed by 1230. I had a Bible study at one. So I was I was off of that call about 2, 2.15. And then we just slept most of the day so when my husband got up and started getting ready for work about six o'clock this evening i got up and i decided to go to the store and get what i needed for dinner but i had no plans on turning the um camera on because i'm not making anything special or new i've done baked chicken with you before um i've done cornbread with you before nothing special we just uh My husband's an old country boy that loves a home cooked meal. And he loves like greens and cornbread or uh, beans and cornbread. So instead of doing something that he could do with, you know, without. I decided to cook a meal that he really likes. So I'm doing some pinto beans with smoked turkey mix, baked chicken, and I might barbecue it at the end. I might add some barbecue sauce, put it back in the oven, um, or half of them I might barbecue because he doesn't have to have barbecue um, and a cornbread. And that's it. That's all I'm doing. So I just wanted to check in with you on this blog. I know that I am blogging this um, next day or two. So I just wanted to check in with you on the blog and uh, let you know what I was up to at 12 o'clock at night. pan to heat up in the oven. Make sure it gets all around the, this is a big pan, so make sure that it covers the sides and everything. And I'm going to put it in the oven so it can heat up preheat 
for about five minutes and then I'll put the chicken I'll put the chicken and the cornbread in there at the same time oh. this is what make it moist y'all this is the old country way of making a cornbread you don't have to use the oil it'll still make the cornbread but if you want a good old moist country cornbread that's what you do I'm gonna tell you another secret you can use regular milk or you can use buttermilk this milk actually soured see the line around it this is sour milk I didn't throw it away because I use it for my cornbread buttermilk is sour milk so you don't have to do that either you don't have to follow me but I'm telling you don't throw you if you cook cornbread for your family regularly and you got milk that go bad don't throw it away use it in your cornbread it's not gonna hurt you I promise oh that's some good eating right there okay some people gonna agree some people not I can see y'all in the comments with a lot of stuff to say. Use your regular milk, use your almond milk, your soy milk, your butter milk, your sour milk, whatever kind of milk. I am not um, a professional and this isn't a, um, a professional opinion. This is you guys watching how I cook for my family. So just wanted to put that out there because I don't want to offend anyone be disrespectful to anyone all right about three or four more minutes I'm gonna let this sit for the five minutes that the pan is in the oven because right now it's really soupy but if it sits there for a minute it gets a little thicker This up. When I turn off the camera, I don't want to have a lot of cleanup. Okay. All right. So I'm going to Set this out of the way. I'll turn you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to take this hot pan out and this bread. so I can put more than one thing in the oven. This isn't hot so I can touch it. Slide that on the bottom rack. Put this right here so you guys can see me. Can you see me? I know I moved the bread in there. I know you can't see into the pan but you guys see what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes. And then in 25 minutes, 
I can take the cornbread out of the oven and let the chicken slow cook. So that's what we're gonna do. Here, I'll show you the beans and what they look like. And then I'm gonna go sit my butt down Do I have a, let's get a fork. Ooh, let's take you off the tripod and let you see the beans. That's what they looking like. And they are on low. So they've been cooking for quite a while and now I have them on low and I'm gonna let those slow cook probably most of the night I'm going to stay up long enough to get the cornbread and chicken out the oven and I'm going to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow love you guys Fashion show, fashion show. <laughs> hey y'all, headed to my mom's house. It's Monday, one of my days off. And uh, I've slept all day because I was up cooking last night. It's 4.30. And I'm headed over to my mom's house. Gotta order me some coffee and go pick it up on the way there. And then I'm gonna hit the road. I live, um, let's see if I can get you guys straight. I live in Locust Grove, Georgia. And my mom lives in Fairfax, Georgia, which is up near Jonesboro. So it's not a bad drive. It's about 20 minutes. Um, but we moved down here. One of my goals was to be closer to my mom so we got kind of in the middle of my family and his family my mother's north of here and his family south of here so I think we did really good because before we were at least an hour to an hour and a half from everybody so so anyway headed to do that just wanted to check in and say hello hope you guys are having a great Monday I'm enjoying my days off and I'm going with the flow of my, instead of like trying to sleep all night and be up during the day on my days off and then be up all night and sleep during the day, which is the opposite on the days I work, I'm trying to keep the routine. So hopefully it feels better on me in the long run. So I've been sleeping during the day. I've been up at night and actually been pretty productive getting some stuff done. I cooked a whole meal. It was a good meal. When I come back, I'll fix my food and show you what it what it looks like. And uh, got some clothes washed. Yeah, I'm being productive. So just trying to stay in my routine. I'm keeping my spiritual routine up, reading my daily texts every day, my daily Bible reading, studying for the meetings. When I get home in the evening from work, that wind down period I spend preparing for my spiritual meetings and even if it's five paragraphs of the watchtower I can read it answer the questions think about it so I'm pretty excited about it working with my prayers instead of thinking that things are going to change working with my schedule instead of thinking things are going to change so I'm digging it because all before it was you know, asking God to give me a different schedule so I can have a better spiritual routine. Now I'm working with my schedule so that I can have a better spiritual routine and it feels pretty good, so. 
Y'all, I'm so happy. Tomorrow is, let's see if you can see me. Okay. Tomorrow is pajama day. Amazon goes gold. And we're all supposed to wear pajamas. So I got them in 2X because I don't want them like form fitting on me. And the ones with the gold, I'm happy because I do have another one. Where is it? But because it's we're supposed to wear gold or even pajamas, I kind of think I'm gonna wear the ones I got on because they got gold in it and they're pajamas. I know it's hot. <laughs> But hey, it's always cool in the building. Oh, these are thinner. It's always cool in the building. This one has a hoodie. These are thinner. So which one do you think I should wear? Should I wear the ones with the rubber ducky? These are a snugger fit. Same size, but they fit snug. <sighs> and they don't have the feet. Not sure how I like the snugness. But which ones do you think I should wear? Let me know in the comment section. I really like the other ones because they fit bigger. But... Which ones look better to you? I'm real curious. And then in the next video, you'll probably figure out which ones I wore. <laughs>